Mike, check, 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 Justin Hunt. It's all happening. Thank you to everyone for rocking with the channel. Thank you to everyone who's donated to the channel, helping to forward this mission. Uh, if you'd like to donate, you can donate through the Cash App. It's right up there or through the link tree. That's in the description. And big shout out to all my members. I got three new members, three new members. Big shout out to Taylor Williams, OG Nick Marsh. My man, OG Nick Marsh, man. I really appreciate you rocking with me, brother. And Patrick Dawson. So thank you guys for joining the community. We're on our way to 100 subscribers. Nine second applause. Thank you. Big, big news, big announcement. It has been announced that Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar will headline the 2025 Super Bowl, this coming Super Bowl in New Orleans. Uh, this was a major announcement. It just hit today. Uh, let's, it, it was announced through a PG Lang produced commercial. So let's take a look at it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Give me one more. Ah. Come on, two more. Just like that. You ready? <laughs> I love how PG Leg produces their commercials and their spots. There's always some minimalism. They use crazy depth and angles. Um, you know, this is another example. It's giving me George Patton kind of feel. <laughs> a huge, a huge flag. And, you know, the... And the general in this case is Kendrick Lamar, just right in front of it. It also screams not like us. I mean, this is that the the cultural differences between Drake and Kendrick Lamar were, were front and center throughout this this battle. And this screams American pride. You know what I mean? So I, I like I love what the what I love what's going on with this right now. Exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? My name is Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. No round twos. No round twos. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I won't want you to miss it. Meet me in New Orleans. February 9th, 2025. Wear your best dress, too, even if you're watching from home. Let's go. Yee! That's what I'm talking about, man. Now we can get to it for real. Come on, you got you to gotta make sure you catch him with the hands open like that. We running real routes. You're going to be messing up. So there it is. That's the spot itself. Now, Kendrick, I mean, did you catch that line? You caught that line. No round twos. That feels like a shot at Drake. It feels like a response to recent news that we've covered where Drake posted Rasheed Wallace, a clip of Rasheed Wallace saying that they were going to win round two. It's an old basketball clip. Academics has been talking about how Drake will win game two. <laughs> so Kendrick snuck a jab in. No, no round twos. No game twos. You only get one chance to win the championship. And Drizzy Drake and Ovi Ho did not maximize that opportunity. There was also an announcement on Rolling Stone. Here's the Rolling Stone article. It has a few quotes in it. Uh, three years after Kendrick Lamar guested during Dr. Dre's Super Bowl halftime performance, the rapper will headline his own halftime show at Super Bowl 59. Just hours before the first Sunday of the 2024 season kicked off, the NFL, Rock Nation, and Apple Music revealed that Lamar will take midfield at the New Orleans Caesar Superdome on February 9th, 2025 for the Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show. Rap music is still the most impactful genre to date, and I'll be there to remind the world why. Kendrick Lamar said in a statement, they got the right one. They got the right one. I like that quote. Here's what Jay-Z said. Jay-Z, whose Rock Nation co-produces the halftime show, added in a statement, Kendrick Lamar is truly a once-in-a-generation artist and performer. His deep love for hip-hop and culture informs his artistic vision. He has an unparalleled ability to define and influence culture globally. 
Kendrick's work transcends music and his impact will be felt for years to come. Uh, the, Lamar and Dave Freeze PG Lang will serve as creative directors on the Super Bowl halftime performance. They did the pop out show too, along with Amazon. I mean, that was that the just the, the cinematography, how they shot that was really impressive for the pop out. I, I imagine, I mean, it's going to be a grander scale, obviously. It's the Super Bowl. Uh, but I'm so I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with that. Seth Dudowski, head of music at the NFL, added in a statement Few artists have impacted music and culture as profoundly as Kendrick Lamar. Time and time again, Kendrick has proven his unique ability to craft moments that resonate, redefine, and ultimately shake the very foundation of hip hop. So that's the statement. Here's Kendrick's line one more time. Here's what Kendrick said one more time. Rap music is still the most impactful genre to date, and I'll be there to remind the world why. They got the right one. That's beautiful. I mean, it's 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 going to be big. This is big. And again, if I we've been talking about this. If you're tired of this song, not like us, we just got to football season. It's not going to, and it's going to rock now through, through the Super Bowl. We thought it was going to rock through the Grammys, which is February 2nd. Now it's rocking through the Super Bowl, which is February 9th. A um, couple of things I found interesting around this conversations around this announcement today. One, if you guys have heard 616 in L.A., people have been trying to figure out what that sound is at the beginning of 16, 616 in L.A., that whatever machine sound that is. Here's a clip of it. We'll just play a quick clip of it. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. So people... People have been trying to figure out what that sound is for months, right? <laughs> now, there's some people today who are speculating that that sound is actually the sound at the start of this Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> it's the sound of this football machine. Check this out. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Come on. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I see it. I don't think I see it. Let's do it one more time. Uh, uh. Okay, there's that one. Let's try this one one more time. Let's see this. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Come on. Two, two more. I don't hear it. You know, I mean, I can't imagine that them being the same sounds. I just cannot imagine that. <laughs> I mean, that would be, that would have been some, some next level manifestation. <laughs> if at the time Kendrick made 616 in LA, they had already planned to do the Super Bowl. Maybe they're pitching the Super Bowl. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think that's a reach. I think that's a heavy, heavy reach. We were talking about this in the Be Fresh video the other day. Sometimes we get too caught in these rabbit holes, but there is speculation. People try to still figure out the sound at the, at the beginning of 616 in LA, and now they're the next possible, <laughs> the next possible origin of this this cryptic piece of this diss track is maybe this. Uh, I don't see it, but you know, keep a look at them for conversations around that. Also, their WAC 100 said something very interesting on. Clubhouse, the day before this announcement, actually. So WAC 100 was on Clubhouse, and I'll play a quick clip of it. He was talking about Kendrick missing an opportunity by not releasing an album. Here's what WAC says. And think he gonna ride the wave from March, from April, May. That don't work like that now. Too many people gonna get shot. A nigga gonna die of an overdose. This nigga over here going to get out of jail. This nigga over here going to jump off the top of a building to where they're going to forget. They're going to totally forget about what the fuck happened seven, eight months ago. You're not going to have the attention of the people, bro. Right. So, yo, Hundo, as as your management um, perspective and how you move as a manager, that's how you would have pushed that bag? Yeah, I'll let it. someone have to come like, out, what would bro. You Something would have had to come out to ride the waves. Something. 
But yeah, who, bro. who's managing Kendrick though to tell him not to drop? No, Hulu? I'm asking Wack as from his management. No, if he would have been, if he'd have still been up under something like the game, if like, he'd have been up under TDE, Top Dog would have something would have came out. Well, that was yesterday. <laughs> okay, that was yesterday, maybe two days ago. Well, something came out, and it is Kendrick Lamar performing at the Super Bowl. Uh, so. There's go now. There's at least another five months of anticipation about the next big Kendrick Lamar show. I'm not sure what this means for the album. I think probably he drops an album after the Super Bowl performance. Normally, people take the Grammys or or uh, the Super Bowl type performances to announce their next project. So this could be a sign that we won't see a new Kendrick Lamar album until 2025. But this is a big announcement. Five months of anticipation. Kendrick Lamar, Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. Who's he going to bring out? How's he going to rock not like, not like us? What songs do you guys want to hear? And if you're a Drake fan, how do you feel about this? Because there are some funny memes going around about Drake fans. I'll share just one right here. This is my favorite. This one is, how's Drake, how Drake's about to come out at Kendrick's halftime show when Not Like Us starts playing. <laughs> this, is, this is from, from uh, Dark Knight Rises. So shout out to Bane. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this. My name is Justin Hunt. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow at the company man on everything. It's all happening. <laughs>